Brittany Griner is a U.S. basketball star and observers say also a political pawn. She's on trial for bringing cannabis oil into Russia when she flew there in February. Griner testified she was using it to help treat injuries and she mistakenly packed it. I do plead guilty because of the actions that have happened, but I, again, did not intend to do this. She could be sentenced to years in prison unless her release is negotiated. In the coming days, I expect to speak with Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov for the first time since the war began. I plan to raise an issue that's a top priority for us, the release of Americans Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner. Paul Whelan is a former Marine who also holds Canadian citizenship. He was convicted of espionage and has been in custody since 2018. The U.S. says it made a substantial offer to Russia a few weeks ago, but so far no response. Whelan's family say they hope a deal is made, and quickly. It's corrosive. He's lost about 20 percent of the weight he had when he was first arrested back in 2018. Um, we don't really know what his health uh, situation is like. Uh, he's not able to see a doctor or get regular medical care. U.S. officials won't elaborate on the offer, but CNN is reporting that they want Griner and Whelan to be exchanged for a Russian arms dealer named Victor Boot. Boot was once called the merchant of death and was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Political observers say Boot is notorious, and there's a risk of carrying out this kind of exchange. It teaches states like Russia, like China, Iran, Venezuela, that all they have to do is arrest a foreigner on these egregious trumped-up charges, and eventually they'll be able to negotiate their way out. But at the same time, the U.S. wants to show it's doing everything it can to free those who they say are wrongfully imprisoned abroad. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Toronto.